There we go. Let's get Bomberman Hero going. The Bomberman only Bomberman Hero. game that I particularly enjoy. Because it's, as far as I've played, the only platformer. Yes. I'm told there's another one on, like, the DS or something. I haven't played that. Maybe someday. And you have never played this no, one. I've never played it. So. so as far as the N64 goes, you, you had Banjo and I had Bomberman. Yeah. <laughs> Banjo, I, we gotta try it again now that we got better hardware. Oh yeah, we can. Now we can potentially get better software. Here we go. How loud is this gonna be? Is, is it gonna go? There go. Hey, license to Nintendo. License. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the Bomber Dick Tower. Warning, Bomberman. You must fight the bomber. Game is a very uh, distinct soundtrack. Yeah, it sounds like a uh, very drum and bass, very synth. -heavy. It sounds like a Dreamcast game. It does. It has that quality to it. This is a lot. This is like the Sonic Shuffle soundtrack, but this is a better game than Sonic Shuffle. Yeah. Running a little bit slow. I, I'm noticing it's stopping. Yeah, it's not supposed to do that. Yeah. Engage the PowerPoint. It's having trouble with, like, uh, shifting scenes. Maybe there's, like, a transition effect that's not loading or something? Oh, perhaps. Makes it look pretty janky, but at the same time, it's an N64 game. There's a lot of natural jank involved with that. I don't think it was supposed to look like that. I um, like how... I like how Bomberman is just... Just a face with eyes. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, hey. What? Remix! Copy that, I guess. Is this the original game, just like background music? I, mean, I think so. You might know him as a little fellow who just does puzzle games. This is not the Bomber Nebula! Bomber Nebula! This is not that. Oh! What could that construct be? The Death Star? It's the Death Bomb? Primus! The Bad Star! It's attacking all these planets! Princess, hurry! Escape with your robot! Yeah, escape to Bomberman Planet! We need to tell Bomberman and his friends right away! Oh no! Who are you? Oh, that was the princess. Yeah, the princess. I think. Princess Million! Something is approaching! Oh dear. So the. I just so, realized C3PO is Winnie the Pooh. Of course there's a princess. Every game needs a princess. Cultural influences. So, uh, I titled this stream Bomb Wars A New Splode. Yeah, because it's, it's basically Star it is, Wars. This is an egregious ripoff of just Episode 4. That's this game's <laughs> story. This... From beginning to end. Star Wars. It's just Star Wars. Princess Million, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Don't worry about me. You go, robot. You go. Go tell Bomberman. We need his help. We need to help us, Bomberman. his face. Planet One Bomber. There are a lot of. D okay, that doesn't look quite right. That's no. We got blinds. We got colored blinds. <laughs> We're just looking out the window at all these areas. Bomberman's a little bit of a shut in here. I'm gonna let Jack play like the first level or so, just because he's never played, but he's never oh, tried this. Oh, rooms, before. battle room, hyper room. This is it's the bomber uh, base. You can only select the battle room. Okay. It's level one. So this isn't creepy. So there was also it. a Bomberman 64, but uh, that one was a little between this and the puzzle games, so and the. Drop with uh, the the Our bumper button, right? and then throw with uh, the okay. What is the Z button? Which is your L left bumper? Nothing. Okay. No. Very basic as far as controls go. This Place a bomb on the switch, and the floating board will move. Ooh. Okay. So Bomberman 64, I tried and couldn't get into because you can't jump and you can't throw bombs. So. Okay, hold on. It's 3D like this. But it's all like running up ramps and shit to get around. Ah, uh, it's more a traditional bomberman puzzle game, but with a third dimension. Tap the R button. 
or C <laughs> down twice to do a bomb kick. Oh, let's see. Oh. Oh, so those those values on the bottom right. The bomb is how many bombs you can have out at once. And the... The fire is the explosion size. You can okay. upgrade both of those. Cool, within, I'm glad they kept level. that. You can climb trees! Yeah, it's like Mayro. You know what? The, I, I like this uh, setup better. Well, actually, the ca I don't know if the camera is any good right now. Uh, this this particular map is just a single... Uh, on. camera direction. I don't remember what the camera's yeah. like later. I got a bullet... Proof vest? Now you are immune to your own explosions. Oh, it wasn't before? No. Well, that's not good. That's over. Hey, kill these idiots. Hold B to throw a rolling bomb. Oh, that's right, you can charge like goddamn Mega Man. Yabba dabba do! Oh, hold on. I, I was a bit out of range. Yeah! I did it! I get no prizes. You get points. Oh. So, to get the, the true ending, we will have to get the full score on every level. Which, what counts towards that is collectibles and enemies. So basically, so, our we're on a manhunt to kill every enemy on every level. Alright. Is there any more to this level, or did I get it all? No, nope, it's just this room. There's a thing on top of the other tree. A little message or something. Okay, so that counts as a collectible. I bet. I think it does. I don't. I think the tutorial messages don't. Oh man. Oh, come on. Oh. Oh, there, oh there's a camera. Oh, you can? Up, right, and left. Oh, uh, yeah, that's some camera. <laughs> it's... <laughs> it's something. It's angles. If you want to see what's behind a, a wall, you use that... Welcome to Boundary Break, uh, Bomberman Hero. Okay, so uh, you can't do it while moving. You have to stop st immediately, just still. I guess it's just for uh, Otacon. I need to scope out this corner. You can do that, Snake. <laughs> you, can, you can do. <laughs> That's basically. Just it. press your C stick to the left. Yeah, while you're standing perfectly Go still. Yeah, you have to be standing still. Oh, here we go. You can't fit in there. Are you crazy? Just, you know, training. Bombs. We got lots of those. It's our main export. Bomberman, oh. you're back! I'll train you now! I'm Bomberman! I don't need to be trained! Okay! 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 <laughs> so at some point... I don't have a personality for him yet. <laughs> at some point, the Bomberman continuity, it became like a team. Like, like Red Ranger, White Ranger. Yeah, it's and I guess this is just white bomber. White bomber, black bomber, red bomber, green bomber. Oh, he mad. What was that? What, what was that? What does he sound like, you think? Well, we're gonna find out at the end of the level. Oh, oh yeah. that was a tutorial area. It didn't even count for anything. Oh, whoops. Oh, you lost your vest. He had to take it off. Hello, just watching. We have gained the ability to throw two bombs. Earn points if you defeat enemies or get items. Sure. Oh, 3D rupees. Ruples. This reminds me a lot of the. This reminds me a lot of Wario World. Yeah. Like just the, like uh, the aesthetic and such. Well, just the way the camera is and compared to everything else. It's uh. This is a very Wario World section. Wario World did stuff like this a lot. Yeah. Oh, I bet there's more over the left. Over to the left. More? To the left. I bet you can jump on that. On that the sloped wall. Yeah. All right. Hold on. Let me try that again. I remember that you can. I don't remember if there's anything up there or not. I mean, you might this well game is usually good about uh, if something looks climbable on, it is climbable on. That's good. I like I like it when games are transparent like that. So, yeah, hey, we got a life, extra life. They don't like do. They don't really do invisible walls in this game, except for like the foreground. Like uh, you can't fall off the ledge here. Yeah. Cool. Checks out. Ah! 
No, no we we'll sang. So, so in this game, it is worth it just to kill everything you see. Yes. In fact, it encourages it. Demands it, some might I say. I like it. Those are destructible, those wall tiles back there. Oh. What, what tiles? Let me check. Check out these? Yeah. Oh, but I Do need a domino. Uh, you already got everything up there. <gasps> oh, you can only- you can- Oh, you can also do that. Yeah. Chicken! Chicken. Don't, oh! Don't leave wait. orphans, Jack. What? What kind of a monster am I playing as? Look into those eyes. Those are the eyes of death. Just blow it up! This doesn't look like the Bomberman I know. This is the Bomberman 3D platformer, which is the only game I is the only Bomberman game I've played that I enjoyed. I'm not crazy about the puzzle ones, personally. Ah, Fred! There was an enemy down there? Yeah, there's a little fella. Uh, hold on. <laughs> the aerial control is kind of weird. Yeah. Yeah, you do have control in the air, at least. It's Castlevania, it's not. It's not, it's... He jumps high. Yeah, he has, he has a deceptively high jump. He jumps higher than fucking Mario! Okay. So does Sonic, to be honest. Mario's known for his jumping. Hold my beard! Ever, everyone but Mario actually jumps high. Luigi jumps higher than Mario. I guess Mario is, uh, is it, like, famed for just his height, but just also his accuracy? It's the, it's the grace with which he moves. It's the beauty of his jump, Jack. This is the beauty. <laughs> Your Man, jumps... I wish my jumping looked that cool. <laughs> his jumping is just kind of like... Luigi just looks silly. Ooh. Fluttering his legs in the air. Yeah, he gains extra height, but the... But the technique at which he moves is not as, uh, not as clean. Do they hide, like, I think uh, we got everything so far. I, I'm wondering if this game is mean enough to just hide shit, like, behind pillars and stuff. There... no, they... There was the, the domino tiles, but I think those were... You could kind of figure they were destructible, because they stood out. Oh, wait, oh yeah, wait, hold on. But there's not, like, uh, there's not, like, breakable walls that you wouldn't know are breakable or anything like that. Ah. Uh, Alright, then. I'm satisfied uh, with that answer. The levels generally aren't too long, but Shit. there are areas like this where once you go over, you can't get back. Oh, uh, so, so you, you gotta make to... damn sure you collect everything before yeah. you move on. Which I think you have so far, right? Just, uh, yeah. Uh, you're too close to the foreground. Yeah, that's a, that's a problem. Is it? Oh, hey. I didn't need but this. I, what? Okay, then what's down here? Chicken! Oh, you suck! Oh, well, we need to kill him anyway, huh? Yeah. You know, I like a guy who solves all his problems with explosions. Oh, whoops. Shit. I didn't mean it. Maybe you can go up and bomb them from above. That's fine. I... Oh, wow. I don't have to hold down the button. I, I just gotta run into it again. Yeah. yeah. Hey. I like the throwing better than the kicking, though. And the ki the kicking is all you can do in Bomberman 64. Uh. Hey, Bomberman, you know you can throw bombs? What? Bless da, 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 me. Da, da, da. <laughs> just the... Hey. We did it. I did it. I, I barely... Did it. Oh, that's what he sounds like! Bomber that man. I did right? it! Bomber man. man? <laughs> Bomber man. Damn, I love this soundtrack. It's a catchy soundtrack. It's a good soundtrack so far. Alright, over to me. Oh, uh, the life carries over from level to level. 
Oh shit, I'm sorry. That's okay. How you, oh, you gotta find a pink card. I do what I want. This is Sonic sounding. This is loungy. Yeah. This is like a Rouge yeah, the Bat soundtrack. The kick seems more accurate to me. There's something down there? Yeah, I was about to say. Is there anything down that way? I don't. I think this is a wall. Fuck. <laughs> and now he is the dead. You probably lost all your shit. Yeah. No, he didn't. Oh, well, my score resets, but I, I, I keep the upgrades. Oh, so so you gotta complete everything in a perfect run? Uh... I think so? I don't remember. You wanna go back and do the level? The previous level? No, no, no. It's per level. This is a new level. Oh. But you kept the score from last time. No, I didn't. I started at zero. Oh, you, okay. You start at zero every level. Alright. So that- so walls don't count to, towards your score. No. Alright. Is this just him just training? I guess so. This is a training level. Make it a live fire exercise! so the bomb doesn't need to be spot on. Uh. Hey, it did it. Yeah. Wow, this is a whole side area. What the fuck was that diamond? Uh, rainbow jewel. Holy that's sweet. worth a lot. <laughs> that, that, no, that's a diamond. What are you talking about? Rainbow jewel. Yeah. Rainbow! It's the Chaos Emerald. The rainbow version. I think gold jewels are worth 500 and uh, rainbow are worth 1,000? This this game feels like the kind of game I'd be spending... I'd be just staying up till 3 p.m. playing as, as a 10-year-old. Yeah. Just because... This fit in with all the other platformers on the 64. I'd like this the same as Mario 64. Did I play any others? Because I didn't have... Glover? I didn't have Ban Banjo or Donkey Kong. Play Glover. Nah, I never played Glover. Uh. I did it! <laughs> Even then, I thought that voice was weird. You can go to the secret, oh, secret room. So I think the regular exit led to the heavy room. There are, uh, levels with multiple exits tend to lead to different areas. Ah. Uh, so this is a room secret even to Bomberman himself? You will need four key crystals. Alright. Oh. Star pieces. Points. So how linear are the levels? This one is... This one's pretty open. This one's a little spiral-y. So it depends on the level? It depends on the level, yes. More often linear than not, I would say. Ah. But there are some that have uh, some degree of exploration. Makes sense. Yeah, I'm not really gonna give you shit about your uh, aerial control, because it's not the best. Kind of, it's just the game. You can move, yeah. Bomberman's a bloodthirsty hero, just blowing up everything. Yeah. With childlike glee. It's okay, they're robots, they're not people. Is I robot? You know, we have YouTube videos of, like, people torturing, uh, 
phones for fun. Later on, robots are gonna see that and just use that as, like, uh, proof that, yeah. Like, shit like this. We have been given reason to uprise. Still missing one. It does not appear to be in the trees. Fucking Star Wars robot racism. We don't serve their kind! Yeah, no bother. Just... Why? Oh. You, you think, you think... What was the reason for robot racism in, uh, Star Wars? It was never really explained, was it? I'm gonna look it up. Are people mad they're taking their gerbs? Alright, Star Wars robot racism. Oh, God. Yeah, this game seems pretty chill so far. I imagine the levels get really hard, though. It gets harder as it goes on, yeah. Alright. What? Not a, like, not a whole lot of, like, consistency with the villains or anything. It's not like they're all Kremlings or Koopas or such. Like Banjo, they're just kind of whatever happens to be there. Uh, we need to talk about the woke droid. <laughs> what? Oh, okay. Who was the woke droid? I guess there's something to do with, like, robot slavery. Because robots are basically... Wait, there is a droid. It's it's in the movie Solo. Yeah. Uh, that that was like a I guess a a ro a robot like I did it. yeah you sure did like activist and his name is L three three seven. What the of course? <laughs> what if you're gonna do that? Why you gotta call your robot that? He is the elite robot. Best suited to lead the other robots. <laughs> you should keep injuring yourself because you... So, 100 gems, you get an extra life? Uh, do I? No. Oh, maybe. I don't know. I only just realized I collect something? them. As far I only really collect them for points. There's, no, there's nothing you can buy? No. Maybe you get lives from them. It makes sense. Stars Wars! They put out a, uh... They're putting out a Rise of Kylo Ren novel. The Rise of Kylo Ren? Yeah. Uh, oh, the best Star Wars character, clearly. Is that the, is that the one where he, like kills a whole bunch of Jedi, and it's just like, yeah. What does he do that? I don't know what he did. I, I saw this, I saw seven. I didn't see eight, or nine, because... I did it! Two. <laughs> it's never not weird. You want to try the heavy room? Yeah, I'll try the heavy room. How heavy is the heavy room? Uh, no, it's pretty heavy. Alright. Sweet, so side scroll. I saw you there. Looks like a Mega Man robot. Uh. Oh shit! Oh yeah, explosion stack. You can do <laughs> that if you spam. <laughs> oh jeez, this is gonna be rough. So it maxes out at four. Shit. I only left you with two health. Yeah. Okay, cool. Wait, what? Gotta get the MacGuffins. Oh, forgot. You got it? Only when he's spinning. That yeah. robot is Ronco tough. Shit. There's a thing down there to the left. I see it. I have to watch how I move. No! Oh. We thought of that! You can, uh, oh, you can drop them in the air while you're jumping. Oh, I was thinking about it, but I miscalculated. Hope I find a pink card soon. What the? Pink gym? Oh wait, you can't go down slopes! He's 
Dalek. Is that the one? Dalek, there's, yeah. Uh, there's, like, problems with slopes. They have problems with stairs. I I don't think the any stairs. Daleks had a problem with slopes. Maybe if it's a steep enough slope. I might tilt over. <laughs> Exterminate! Exter and it falls and just rolls down. There's uh, more stuff down there, too. I know. Like that. Oh. I can't jump while doing that. I have oh. to. Yeah. Under the bridge. Ah, oh, they did it. I think it's just the two. Hey, am I missing any? I don't think so. Right. We're close to 100. It'd be nice if we got an extra life. Not that- I don't know what losing all your lives does. Probably resets all your, uh, stuff collected. Yeah, it's probably good. That was a good jump shot. I don't- I don't know what I just collected. Man, he should really just wear this vest all the time. I don't know why he ever takes it off. Well, it only works for the level it's in. They got a- they got a specially programmed one per level. I, I don't know what if there's anything else besides these uh, tuning forks. Uh, no, I think that's it. Not sure how to get through? Try bombs! Alright. Oh, hold on. Ah, damn it! I mistimed. I Perfect. should be trying fancy shit like that when I don't even really know the, how the game plays. There's one of those guys again. So for a while, two of the main guys I wanted in Smash were uh, Bomberman and Rayman. Yeah. But, uh... Destroy the Barrier Tower Core. What? Okay. What's, what kind of a tr what kind of training is this? Oh, uh, is there something? I'm gonna guess. You can get up. I don't think you can get up there from here. I think you have to be higher up first. Just, they don't let you grab that. Uh, I realized that the only reason I, I liked them was for, like, one game per series. And if they got into Smash, they would draw from a lot more than that, so that, that kind of that lowered the hype for me. Yeah. Makes sense. Cool, what did I do? Rayman is... I mean, this one, as far as I can tell, at least fits in with, like, any... Oh! I thought I wanted me in there for some reason. Wow. That's okay. Whatever. Oh, I lost power. Huh? Yeah, we're at the start again. Yeah, I see it. Is it? Can I? Hold on. Oh. My enemy has placed an attic bomb somewhere in this room. I'll remove it! Is that- is this be that? Fuck. So those are one-time collectibles, and, uh, they don't count towards the... They're free 50 points, but they don't count towards the completion oh. of the level. So, what are they, uh, if we collect them all... We get the true ending! So that's how- but wait! It's only for... It's not one per level. This, okay. I think this is the first one in the game, hence the little hint message. Yeah. Oh, should we miss one to see what the normal ending is? If... Uh, we still see the normal ending. You just, you get, like, an extra planet. It's the regular ending plus more. Okay. I realize that... As far as I know, this, like, fits in with whatever lore the Bomberman series has. Whereas Rayman... Rayman just gets completely uprooted after game one. And they make a whole new world. Which, you know... I, did, I didn't like that. That's just me. Yeah. They did a fucking... What, pirates? Fucking pirates. 
Yeah, we did a, we did a stream of that. If you want to check out what that what Rayman Two was like, we played through Rayman One. God help us, and uh, we did a stream of Rayman Two. There are highlights of the Rayman One playthrough. Yeah. As well as highlights of just getting the stupid thing to work. Fuck. Oh. Oh, you don't like there being a foreground wall? Okay. How about a foreground damage grid? Ha. Ha. Fucking Peter Griffin game design. Destroy these forks? No. The tuning forks are immune. They're too powerful. That's dumb. Hey, we need an obstacle for the training course. Uh, I don't know. You got some scrap iron? <laughs> I got these old pitch forks. Can we, like, remove the middle prong? Wouldn't that make them less dangerous? Well, it's a training course, man. Wah, 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 wah. Oh, My yeah, raffle so, copter. So, <laughs> yeah, I remember that. My raffle. Go down a step. That one's a tight angle. Got it before. What the? Oh, well, you got a hit on it. I think it takes three. <laughs> I see. Oh, they're not hurting anyone. They're just driving. Fuck it. But their points. Oh, I'll stop you, Doctor Wiley. <laughs> yeah, you you go get him, Mega Man. <laughs> he did sound like that too. Just fucking. Yeah, yeah. You gotta do that. He was he was very Elmer Fudd in that game, Doctor Light. Do I have to? Can I jump? No, I can't. I don't think you can make that jump. Not to be from higher up. No, thank you. Doctor, didn't Doctor Wily oh, sound like German as shit? <laughs> I don't remember what he sounded like in Mega Man Eight. I know. I... Uh. Honestly, I don't think the voice acting got much better in Eleven. I hate to say that. You know what? It's fine. It's legacy now. Yeah. It's just like... The Mega Man 11, the game that came out, like, a year ago? It, it's like, yeah, it's a, it's a feature of... It, it's, a, it's a feature. It's a feature. That they got a new voice cast and it's just as bad? Yes. They could get the original one, they didn't credit them. Well, maybe not just as bad, but... I gotta listen to it, I actually... That's the one where, uh... Mega Man just has a, a very... Oh, hello. Mega Man just has a very generic Sonic the Hedgehog. I'll get you. You know, Shonen Hero kind of voice. But, <laughs> I'll get you. And most of the voices are okay. Roll sounds fine, but some of the robot lords are just—they're—they're—they're—they're they're, they're, they're bad, huh? It's like they're wacky characters by design, but the voice actors were kind of not willing to go all the way, so they oh. just kind of half-assed wacky. <laughs> Oh, God! Like they don't have experience doing cartoony characters. Oh, they didn't swing and a miss. Not, not only that, but there's, like, so many lines of dialogue, and they're all just shitty puns. <laughs> Don't knock your block off! <laughs> uh, okay, you can give it back to me. I'm good. <laughs> oh, those were- I, I knew we were missing something. Okay, Just good. a little bit back there. Right. I think we're good. <laughs> it's Block Man. <laughs> I'll knock your block off! <laughs> but it's just- it's just like a guy doing a suit. I got a block to pick with you! I, you know what? I would actually prefer it if- uh, if they didn't want to do a silly voice, just do it deadpan and all serious. Yeah. And that would enhance the, the shitty puns further! Block guy is actually voiced fine, it's just the puns are, are annoying with all the robots. I did it! The one that really stuck out to me, there's like a, the, there's like a bounce man or something. Yeah, bounce man. And the, they got an, an actress who just had, did not want to do, like, wacky. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> How'd it sound? I, I, I can't really describe it. You gotta play it then. Like, yeah. what, are you, what are we doing? <laughs> Put it up. Put it on our list. Here, let me find. Uh... I mean, I'm sorry. It's fine. I'm looking at the Oz window. Mega what? Man Eleven. Bounce Man. This game has a very dreamlike quality to it. It does. Do you call this aesthetic? Uh, it's an aesthetic. Are they talking? Wait. Did I need to destroy that thing? Uh, no. I think that was just like a, hey, look at what we can do on the N64. We got a cutscene where something flies away. Uh. Hey, it's a, it's a, it's an atom bomb. Fuck! Oh, there are pits. I think that was our last life. What? Oh, wait, life zero one, on the top right. Oh. We're down to three bombs now. Oh, did we go down a stage from dying? Yeah, Is that how it works? Like it. But we need more items. Collect everything again. Oops. Yeah, here we go. Alright. Where's the... You just use a mixer. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Alright, go for it. All bounce man voice lines. Oh boy! A new playmate! <laughs> you wanna bounce with me? <laughs> bounce, <laughs> man. bounce man! Bounce time! <laughs> I bet you can't bounce like this! You know, in a boss arena? Let's get happy! <laughs> Actually, you know what? This works! Yeah. It, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. it's too whispery! It's not excitable enough! It, it's, it's half- It sounds cuddly! What? It it just sounds half-assed to me. It, it you know what? It sounds like it sounds like it's a robot that was meant to form one purpose, but it's accidentally like fulfilling another purpose, and it sounds like it's ill-fitted for it. It works. Like it's got an internal struggle or something. Yeah, because remember, Wily Wily's just taking robots that were designed for other shit and is repurposing it for combat. I know that, but it's it sounds off. It, and the game doesn't really embrace that aesthetic. I think maybe they should have communicated with the actress what the needs of the role were. It seems like the director didn't want to piss them off. Maybe. Like the actors and actresses. The director was not involved enough. That can happen a lot. I'm not necessarily blaming the actress, because usually it is more the director's fault. Yeah. I can't- okay, I think I'm done playing this. I, I'm just not good at the jumps and I don't want to fuck over your- That's okay. The game is over. Okay. We continue. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Bomberman. Oh, you gotta start from the very beginning, probably without any fucking power ups. Yeah, we just go. We just lose our power ups. Is all it happens. That's not a big deal. We can always get them back through rigorous training. Day of sand hands. Yo, who took my bomber jet? Oh, it's Black Bomber. Black? I guess. Is he is he our uh, Sasuke? I don't know. None of the other bombers have any kind of role in this game. Assuming they exist and have been introduced by this point, I don't know. Toggled the switch. No. Oh, it went, I, I grounded him. Yeah, do the kick. You know, I could have done that. Oh, wrong switch. 
It's fine. Nobody can follow you now. Are you ready for your training? Okay. So, I don't know what- I'm ready! I'm ready! Oh man, does Bomberman have any more voice lines? In like any other games? I don't know. Do they retcon his voice? Maybe? Maybe they update it? I'd be fine with him just as a silent character, like in the cutscenes. Yeah, but... I like that about Mega Man and Smash. But no, his voice is canonically just high-pitched, like, cutesy children's voice. What was that sound effect? Sounds like a water park! Oh no, a roller coaster tycoon boat just crashed in our bomber base. <laughs> You just get a guy who, like, who's just running and like, SORRY! Uh-oh. Okay, we're fine. Then he played a, uh, like, a, a shitty Steam game that was like a water park simulator. Uh, One water park version of Roller Coaster Tycoon. V Vinny? Yeah. I- Not oh, recent, man. not recently. This was a while ago. I don't know. And, uh... It was, it was, a, it was, you know, a, a bad game. It looked like a college project. There wasn't a lot in the, in the way of... So can't... No, he can't swim. Okay. Because yeah, he's a robot, right? I guess. There wasn't a lot of content to the game or anything, and it looked, you know, really shoddy. Bad animations and things. Yeah. But it was, uh... It made me realize I wanted a water park game. Like, a good one. Yeah. I don't know if, if that exists or not. Dude, just do... You know what you, you could do? What? You could do a hybrid, like, park management sim and a platformer. Yeah? And base it off work? of Action Park. You ever, you ever heard of Action Park? The park that, like, kills people? Yes! Yeah, you just make a fucking Action Park game. Yeah. And it's like, because that was also a water park. It was a combination of water park and multiple other stuff. And... It sounds like you're describing Ultimate Chicken Horse. Yeah. <laughs> It is basically, it would basically be that, but with a different aesthetic. Yeah. It'd be like a Donkey Kong style platformer. Yeah. I did it! Yes, you, you sure did, buddy! You're so happy. Your training is done. I'll give you the bomber pitch. The, Jap <laughs> the Japanese love cute little guys who can kick ass. Yeah. Use Just the... look at Deku. Hey, you can fly now, I guess. Cool. They had a My Hero Academia shirt at Walmart. Oh, did they? Yeah. Cool. Which I was a little surprised by. I didn't think it was quite that big. Was in the States yet. A UFO just landed on the mountain. Go check it. You gotta watch. start watching that, I feel like. Yeah. But... Okay! Okay! That's all he says! Is, okay, and I did it! He's a, he's, a, he's a professional. He does his missions. Those footsteps. I got squeaky toys for feet. It's Chopper. It, it's just Chopper, but as a as an arsonist. Someone replaced my shoes with cat toys, and I haven't been able to get new ones. So okay, that's so that's one. all cleared. Area 2. Sea of Trees. Oh, there's a lot more levels in Area 2. Yeah. Oh, this game also has no shortage of bosses. Oh, sweet. I like a game with plenty of bosses. Oh, here's a front-facing level. I realize that we haven't finished Cuphead. I really want to finish Cuphead at some point. Yeah. Cuphead and Banjo-Kazooie will both have, we'll have to both get back to. Yeah. We only had, like, one stream of Banjo, right? We did two. Oh, okay. Rocking that fart synth. Oh, what are you? Why are we in a cave? Why can't we have taken the bomber jet? I wonder who did this soundtrack and what if they did anything else. I think Black Bomber sounds the same except some some horrifying stuff like comes out of his mouth. And but with that same cutesy I did yeah. it! Yeah, it just, just I will destroy the infidels! <laughs> <laughs> oh Whoa, settle down, Black Bomber! Black Bomber. Black Bomber, we, we need you to, uh... You're a loose cannon, Black Bomber! Fuck you, White Bomber! <laughs> what? You wanna go? I'll fuck you up! <laughs> that just sounds like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey Mouse 
Chaos just got into some rum, and he's just all like... Oh, oh. I'm gonna have to hit the weak point. I did it. Massive damage. God. Oh, this one was shorter. I did it! <laughs> I don't- I'm not gonna get used to that. I, I still have it. I never got used to it as a kid. Oh, here we go. Warning! Bomber Marine. Oh, is that the boss? You like water levels? Go! Oh, we need, we need- we need a ship. We need gear. Ship, fuck that. We can mech ourselves. So they send us gear to the planet we're on in case we need it. Wait, does he speak? Oh. Yeah, he does. What? what the fuck was that? Bomber jet? Bomber! Bomber get? L like weapon get? <laughs> I just heard- <laughs> <laughs> Just- Alright. Oh gosh, how's this gonna work? So, tell me about the controls. Uh, it's- actually it's like Crash's jetpack sections. Okay. A to go, B to reverse. And, uh, R button to fire torpedo bombs. So he can't sw swim unless he's got the right gear. Uh, I guess not, no. He can breathe underwater just fine, apparently. That's not a problem, it's just that when he gets there, he's like stuck there. Okay. Yeah, you, you, just... you have your phone? Yeah, I do. Can you Google if Bomberman is a robot? Because this is gonna bug me. <laughs> okay. He looks like he would be. He would be like a, a chibi Japanese robot. Right. Uh, also notable about this level is that I think these like homing mines, if they blow up of their own accord, you don't get points for them. Oh, so you gotta shoot them. But uh, to accommodate for that, you don't need a perfect score on these levels. Oh, really? They, so they, you can they, miss they... at least some of the bombs. Okay. Nice N64 fish. Wow. This actually doesn't look look bad for the N64. So I think many... this was towards the end of the life cycle. There's so many fucking Bomberman... Th There's a Bomberman an- There are two Bomberman animes! Oh, really? Uh, Bomberman B. Damon Baku Gaiden and Bomberman Jetters. I know there's been a lot of Bomberman games, and a lot of Bomberman stuff doesn't make it to the States. You know, they like their cutesy robots more in Japan. Speaking of which, yeah, he is a robot okay. guy. Robot guy in a white helmet. As opposed to a blue helmet. Uh, or black helmet. Yeah. So he's a robot. Alright. I guess the underwater makes sense, then. Well, he's got a helmet on! He can't drown! The, the, the annoying thing about this this level... I think there are other levels kind of like this, water levels that are tubes, is that uh, the render distance. Uh, so if you're at like, the top or bottom of the level, you can't see if there's something you're passing by oh. at the other extreme. It's fucking Maui. Gotta watch he, out for the Squidward heads. You can't kill him? No. Oh, they're Stone Man. Yeah? I you think there'd be a device which could easily shatter stone. I I don't know what what, what what's there, what didn't the guy invent something that allowed him to get through tunnels faster? Dynamite? What, yeah? Yeah! What what is dynamite? It, 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 could it be a bomb? Yeah. Oh no, they're Maui heads! They're made out of- they're made out of Seki Seki rock! That's right. Fuck it. These are spirit bombs. <laughs> no, no, that's something else. Yeah. I, I would think. <laughs> that's how- that's how Goku would get through. He just charge him a spirit bomb, he'd blow up the wall of the Soul Society and go in and kick everyone's ass. Yeah. And Goku just instant transmission in. What if he could because of the barrier? So he had to use the fucking spirit bomb. Yeah. Oh man, so you do a raid, right? You gotta rescue Rukia, but you get to pick like any five DBZ characters yeah. uh, that are like, you know, that would, would do it. Would you need five? Uh, yeah, you gotta have fight variety. Okay. In DBZ? Okay, sorry, not DBZ, DB Super. Yeah. With more sane, like, balancing. Yeah. 
No? Okay. Well, very right, fine, DBZ. Or did any Dragon Ball media care? Five. Dragon Ball Classic. Dragon Ball GT, even if you want to get if you want to get crazy. Hell, you can pick Xenoverse if you really want to get wild. Classic seems more around the appropriate power level. All right. So, uh. Oh, even giant or enemy crab. So you just get, so you just get Goku, uh, uh, Krillin, Bulma, Yamcha, and Tien. Oh God! You think Chaozu could do much as the little psychic fella? Sure. So six then. I, I, I'd be. Oh, you know, for an infiltration mission, Oolong could be useful. Oolong Poor. Yeah. <laughs> Oh! Instead of rescuing, uh... Yeah, I'm totally Kenpachi! I'm the guy! You <laughs> yeah, want to look fight? at me! I'm Kenpachi! Uh, I'm not in the mood to fight. Imposter! Oh, shoot! War <laughs> pops off his shoulder. Run along! I'm under, not in the underutilized mood. characters in Dragon Ball. <laughs> yeah. What's you realize? They also, I guess their abilities were made redundant after. Imagine if Kawar joined the the tournament, oh, and they found a way to like utilize the transformation to some effect. It just. I mean, fuck it. If one of the other teams can have an illusionist. I'm not a fighter. Ow. Maybe it's like, I'll show everyone your hot pot if you don't surrender! Starts taking the, the, the clothes off as, as the crowd's like, oh! And he just has to, like, tap out to not get embarrassed. Or just, like, stir up shit on the same team. <laughs> oh, man. How do you survive? There you go. Oh, thank you. Not like we don't know how to do that before. Didn't know how to do that before. So this level, despite being, like, side-scrolling, is, uh, there's some exploration because there's the top and bottom pads. Ah. Uh, yeah, I, I can see it. It's over here. Uh, no, 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 no. Good old blast radius. Good old level four. Even gets a new sound for it. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! Get up, bomber! It just spikes again. You okay, bomber man? Oh. Ah, jump! Rip! You just <laughs> just the series of uh, wrong decisions. What is that? Is that part of the music, or is that these guys? I, it sounds uh, like a, something booting up. Sounds like a uh, Halo Shield recharging. Yeah. Oh, those aren't like mines that explode, are they? They're just guys who grow bigger. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. All right, max power. Except I am not immune to my own explosions. You must use it wisely. Fuck it. Fuck it. I'm good. Uh. Yeah, the. Jumping still seems really janky, even from like watching me do it. Maybe I'm just used to it, I guess. I mean, Banjo Kazooie felt janky and unresponsive to me. <laughs> it, it was a, uh, I guess. Now. 
Throw and pray. Throw and pray. So is this this level must have two exits then. Yeah, it must. You get the arrows for both. Wait. Oh, uh, that's probably the exit. Uh, I don't know if you want to go through there yet. Nah. That looks like it might be a secret. Well, secret exit. It's not Alter that secret. The alternative exit. Yeah. The exit through the gift shop. longer in the in the like training base. These are just naturally occurring floating platforms, as there are. Just like uh, I guess they're used to like navigate mining areas or something. Is that? Yeah, you did it. Sorry, hold on. I did it. There, now you officially he did, did it. it. Yeah. <laughs> big cannon. Let's see big, where, let's see the where big, red cave the biggest goes. fucking cannon in the world. Oh, this was supposed to be a cave. I thought it was just like a mountain. It, oh, wait, yeah, it looks like, it looks more like a mountain than a fucking, it sounds like somebody's firing a giant sniper rifle. Ah! Oh, what, that's death. Y yeah? I didn't even know there was pits on this level. Yeah, I need to collect everything. You no, know, I'm just, I'm making my way to the, making my way downtown. Walking fast. Faces pass. You get, hey, that thing is there, up down there. The what thing? The firepower up because you died. Eh. Okay. There'll be plenty on the next level. Alright. One. Hooray! Minimal effort. Underachievers. Right here. That's dark wood. Yo, let me show you my big cannon. Oh. We need more. We need the bomber jet! Bomberman, okay? Bomberman, okay? Bomber kid! Uh, I gotta hear what he's saying. Change? I don't know. Bomber change? <laughs> it sounds like it's definitely a, a, like a Japanese person trying to do an American accent, kind of like Ness. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, so this is a... I can't go backwards in this one. You, you, you're forward. It's a jet. It's not a fucking helicopter. We'll get to the helicopter. I bet we will. I can slow down. But there are no brakes on the bomber jet. <laughs> Did you call this a fuck train? The bomb train has no brakes. The bomb train. Also, the rockets don't home. Uh, not very much. Uh. Ag ah, again, don't need everything. <laughs> Oh! You, you I don't did need probably everything, need but that. you got nothing. You, no, you want to leave enemies. the level and restart? I'm hitting enemies. Enemies are things, remember. Yeah. It's a, oh. Okay, good. You don't yeah, have it is to. skippable. I don't remember how uh, how generous these ones are. Uh, hardcore. 
and that the amount of like shit they they expect you to do. They're not expecting me to do everything. Can I kill that? No. You, Ufo Ufo is unkillable. I can't go that high. Bouncing off trees and shit. Oh good, I have the vest now. Ow. What is that? Uh, oh, hello. No, shoot ah! that. Hello, what's going on here? Blah! I thought it would like charge up first or something. Uh, fuck! It sounded like there was a charging noise. Hello? Hey guys, what's going on? Hmm, that sounded like a gun. Let me just poke my head out to see. I need more of these enemies. They're big and easy to hit. Why the fuck are birds just charging you head on? They're birder flies! I don't think you you'll you need to like boost at all. Well, no, it's just to get closer to the enemy so they can spawn in. I don't need to. I just want to get through the level faster. off trees. If you don't hit them, like... Well, the hitboxes are bigger than they look like. Uh. Is 50 or 100? Uh, I think 50. Yeah, yeah so they're as much as enemies. Yeah. I'll just stay down here, thanks. I feel like I am gonna need to destroy that, though. Yeah, I know, but... Like... They're supposed to be lasers. Oh. Ow. No, I need that. Spam bombs, machine gun bombs. Ow. What the? F I thought I was past it. The hitboxes are weird. Jack getting so angry. This is... Well, it's just so bizarre. Oh, now I can stop. I couldn't stop before now. A good bit more. Than okay, I good. It's, that's very generous. If <laughs> I was worried about how generous it was going to be, Darkwood. Very dark. Red tornadoes are mean, and white. To well, that you you are tornado racist, and you should not believe everything you hear. <laughs> tornado. <laughs> Can't discriminate against weather. Oh, 
That that guy is not who he says he is. Wait a minute. Okay, there we He's go. He's got bomb blocking poison mist. Are you friend? No, you're not. Ow, asshole. Grass poison type. Oh, that. <laughs> I didn't see any, uh, atom bombs in the last few. Yeah. Were we not looking? Or, or, uh, they don't have them on the vehicle levels. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. I'm good. We're fine. It is a forest of mystery and possibility. I'll have to rewatch the Banjo Kazooie stream to see what, uh, like, uh. I remember I the second one had to do with, uh, had to do with a shark. Oh. Oh, yeah. That's, uh. I think. Where are you going? The cavern. I will say that I think Banjo Kazooie is a, uh, is a better game than Kazooie. Oh, you think so? Yeah. I think good. that's generally the unpopular opinion. <laughs> I liked it better because there's a lot more to do. Yeah. There's like a lot of it, like mini games and stuff. Kind of like it had a lot of variety. I hear complaints that there was too much collecting in Tui. Eh? Oh. Okay. Cool. There's a short level. That's good. Dragon Road. Snake way. It's just another mountain. With swords? Oh, they, those are those are missiles. Swords. Are they missiles? Miss missiles. Oh, the, they oh. suicide at you and then you don't get points. Oh shit, do you, do you need to circle all over then? No. Anything that has like a permanently missable point, they don't have they don't demand a perfect score on. Just a matter of how generous they are. Oh, okay, good. There's a max power. Oh, it's it's, it's Death Mountain. There's rocks. Uh, I wish it was full life. There are full life hearts. We just haven't run into any yet. Oh. You gotta teach them early to get good. Oh, there's one down. Oh, speaking of... Uh, got it! Ah! Ah! Got no defense against it. You should get the fucking uh, jacket and come back here next time. I don't think that carries from level to level. Like, no, 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 no. Just, just find the jacket on this level. Oh, well, I just wanted to clear out the bottom first so we wouldn't have to come back down again. Oh. Not that I've had any issue with hitting myself. The issue has been, like, they didn't spawn on my screen until after they'd started attacking. Obviously just Geo, dude. Not that Geo Dude is a particularly creative d d design. It's Geo Dude with a thwomp face. The rare Square Geo Dude. What? What would it be like if Square made a Pokemon game? Uh. That would be more. They have more plot. Yeah. Bit more intrigue. That's the only bullshit in the game. A destructible looking wall. It, it just doesn't look it at all. It's just. Well, I mean, it's Bomberman. You just, you just if it see if it look if you think it can be destructible, you might as well just throw a fucking bomb at it. You got it. That's not the case for anything else, though. It's just a solid wall texture where only part of it happens to be bombable. This is the only place that does that, thankfully. Uh. Uh, 
What are you trying to do? I don't know, run across? Oh, there we go. Oh, giant one. Big dude. Big Geo dude. So are they, are they some kind of international peacekeeping organization then? The I, bomber? I dudes? guess. Interplanetary? I did it! Intergalactic planetary? Planetary intergalactic! Alright. Fighting Nitros now. Brio? You must be here to see the UFO that landed nearby. Uh, I am Nitros, soldier of the Galarian. Okay. Garadin. It's just Falco. It's Robo Falco. Go back. No one shall pass me. Bitch, I'll fuck you up. <laughs> ah, are you going to try and stop me? Wait, who's talking? Okay. No, it, I just I assumed that was Nitrous talking. Oh. Uh, and he's like, oh, you're gonna try and stop me? Sasuke. Oh, you gotta beat him in a certain amount of time. Oh, that's right. That's how bosses work. How quickly you beat them is your score. Oh, fucker. He learned to jump. You need to kick it. Alright, uh, he'll jump over it then, too. Maybe suicide into him. Oh my... Gotta give him some lead! Yeah, I'm trying to. Oh, he takes more than three, too. That's four... five? There we go. Oh no! Six! Seven! You are a fucking bomb sponge! Are you serious?! Eight. Hey, Eggman rules. I'm gonna need 6,500, just watch. Oh no. Uh, it's gonna be like 2,000 or something. No. 7,000. Oh, God damn it! I did it! No, you didn't. Shut up. Come back! I need to kick your ass harder! Hello? Who are you? Oh, who are you? Oh, that was him. Please uh, help the princess! Dude, I just live on a sand rock. I shoot swamp bats all day. <laughs> Primus Star was invaded by the Garadan Empire! She stole the enemy's disc and left by shuttle. Oh, yeah, hey! Oh, she's got enemy data. Hmm, interesting. Could you have the data now, Piebot? Kidnap my shuttle shut down. Aww! Yes, he has the data. He has the disc. Here, let me give it to you. Find Obi-Wan. Here, here, but he is Obi-Wan in this situation. I'll rescue the princess for sure! Okay. How come that robot's so much shittier than Bomberman, who is also a robot? They just don't have good robot technology? Yeah, it's, it's terrible robot technology. Alright, Knight. You wanna try him? <laughs> yeah, sure. Up to you. Take a crack at Nitros. Oh. He got, he's gotta drop his flag first. So I, I don't know if you could tell or not. The floor panels determine the direction of his spikes. Oh. So I can just trigger the... He'll attack as soon as he's standing on one. Oh, so theoretically I can just, uh... Are you... Guy! The fucker's hard to hit! What the f... Uh, which, I guess... I mean, for, like, a player size versus player size boss... Reasonably good AI. I, I, I failed. Go for it. Yeah. It's I, a lot better than the team fights in Sonic Heroes, for example. Yeah. Uh, not by much, but yeah, sure. Yeah. You're not not impressed. It's uh. I mean, it is interesting, but. God, 
just keep him in. You gotta hit him while he's like doing shit. Yeah. So he... Suiciding. Tope suicida. Ten seconds. So fucking four, three, two, one. I oh, got it. Hey. So did he die, by the way, or did he just leave? He got beamed up. I'm just saying you don't see a lot of... Usually when you have a boss in a video game, it's some giant thing, not a player-sized thing. Cloud Valley, yeah. And hey, the ones she... that are player-sized are usually very bad. That was not as bad as most of those, I, I think. Honestly, uh, a, a, a game that pulls this off well, in my opinion, is uh, Metal Gear Rising, in which you fight... It looks the best uh, bosses are ones where you're fighting against people your own size. That's, all, that's true of Metal Gear 1 as well. Get, yeah, like uh, Otacon and things. Yeah, Metal Gear had had some good bosses. Uh, like for a stealth game, it had really good bosses. Your guns won't work on me, Snake. I can see the bullets before you even. Oh. Wait oh no, you're using fists. What'll I do? <laughs> Chase it after uh, Ocelot with a fucking detonator. That's right. That's the way to do it. <laughs> <laughs> what a way for a character to go after he had so much so much history in like the prequels. What? He didn't die in that game. Oh, he didn't. No. Well, what a pathetic way to lose for a character who's so important to the series. I, th I feel like he was. Uh... Not that that was the way you were supposed to do it. It was supposed to be a revolver duel, right? Uh, it was... It was just you were fighting him, he used a revolver, he could shoot around corners pretty well. And, uh... Th yeah, that was pretty much it. It was just... Oh! By the way, I just realized something. We could totally do fucking Twin Snakes now. Oh, for the... on the GameCube? Yeah. Yeah. So... Oh man, what are what's my current game choice now that we're running? Uh, uh, you're the one playing Galaxy. Okay. Uh, what else are we doing? Ratchet and Clank, we're both playing. Both I don't, I don't know how long Metal Gear uh, Twin Snakes would take though, so I, I'm kind of. That would be a long one. Yeah. Which we probably shouldn't do while we're playing Wind Waker. No. Maybe after Wind Waker, we could, uh, I could talk about doing Metal Gear Solid. Why are clouds in this random rock valley? Why is anything anything? anything? Oh good, I can kill the clown before the ball. I didn't have the vest. Oh no. Your puny robot brain. What? I should just like drop him behind me. Yeah. Come change and get your, me! Change your strategy to literally anything else. Well, aren't you critical? No, that's critical. I'm, I'm Jack. I'm just saying that bombs aren't a close range weapon unless you're immune to it. You got. I'm not trying to use them close range. Yeah, there was this bomber, he was really good. Uh, what happened to him? He preferred to use his bombs up close and personal. He's got me he's got tinnitus now. No fall damage, which is nice. Fall damage in uh, platforming games has to be done really well in order to make it work. Yeah. Like I didn't really tolerate it in, uh, 
N64. I thought it was Mario like, 64. I thought, yeah, I thought it was like a, a net negative to the game total. Yeah. I mean, I guess they figured they wanted to like uh, limit your movement because they'd never done 3D before. Yeah. Did they keep that for Sunshine? I feel like they did. Fall damage? Yeah. I, I don't remember. Oh wait, I guess there. W I guess there wasn't fall damage because I don't. There are pits. There are instant death pits. So yeah. I guess they figured. Ah. Go off, bomb. Did I get him? I got him. Close range explosives. Yeah, he Clown did. Valley. Never going through there again. This is Clown Valley. Great Rock. A lot of mountainous. I guess we are going to a mountain. Yeah, this is. We're climbing up a mountain. That's this is our first challenge. Oh, more more trees, huh? Bomb sponges. Okay, why can't Bomberman have a gun? Or, or like some kind of laser? Yeah? Or a sword or something? This is Bomberman! You think that. Don't you think they've exhausted every alternative, Jack? I, I get. How do we blow up a ship with explosives? It's Daddy. bomb punk. <laughs> Explosion punk. Explosions are the only technology. No, he has a sword that can explode. He's got the explosion sword. That's right. Just... <laughs> Who had explosion weapons? Did Amagai have one of those? Uh, I know Don Krieg in One Piece did. The explosion spear. So we have, uh... So we have Kira... Uh, then, then we have... Uh, well, he was explosions in general, not, yeah. like, a weapon. We're talking, like, overall bombs. There are lots of characters. Karasu. Uh, you uh, can show use the, those. That guy from Hunter x Hunter. The bomber. Yeah, the bomber. Fred from Scooby-Doo. He's like a mixture of Fred and, like, uh... And, like, type A of hentai antagonists. Yeah. Hentai antagonist type A. He's got the glasses, that, dude. It's like, uh... He, he, he looks like Vash the Stampede, but he dresses half Fred, half Uryu. <laughs> That's how you know he's evil. A Quincy motherfucker. How the fuck is his arc gonna end? Probably in an explosion. <laughs> With a bang, you'd say? Yeah. So, I just never figured bombs is like a, a relatively heroic weapon. Yeah. They're always the weapon for, like, tricksters and, like, people who are trying to be sneaky. Oh, fuck it. Let Bomberman be sneaky. Yeah, Bomberman is a stealth game, clearly! Well, it's not about getting close. It's here, but what the fuck?! What was it, dude? That, that rock scared the shit out of me! Cloud? What's that? What the fuck?! It was like a cloud with goggles. That did not need to be there! Fog route. God. Oh, you like not being able to see? What the? <laughs> that was just a dude on a Segway. What the fuck? Is that, is that General What's His Name from Teen Titans? Immortus? Yeah, I am. They look like they got like uh, cloaks on, like uh, Professor Chang, his boys. Oh, yeah, him. Also, it, it, it kind of reminds me of. Uh, of, uh, those guys from Killzone. I can see it. Well. Colonel Raddick. Raddick. I think those are supposed to be, like, the Garadin soldiers or something. Yeah. I... Rocking their segways. I tried, I tried playing Killzone 1, uh, and, uh, it's, uh... It, it, it's pretty unremarkable. I mean, 
nowadays for the time it was it, it's probably good, but people were like trying to find oh we gotta find the Halo killer. Yeah. You know how people like there's a time when games were like billed as like the genre killer or the stuff. Doom killer. The Doom. This is gonna supplant Doom. It's gonna be better than Doom. Back when FPSs were called Doom likes. Doom likes. We still don't have. We just have uh, roguelikes for uh, what the fuck? Laser spikes. Oh no. Is that why they added that sound effect to make it more friendly? Lasers are friendly, right? I like, I like this this uh like uh L this waiting room uh style music. Oh, it goes sideways. Oh, good. Those bombs setting off other bombs gives me the points for them. Hello. Thank you. Oh, hey, Black Bomber! He came to assist. Not not a word, but he helped out. Actions speak louder. Thank you, Black Bomber! He just gives the thumbs... Oh, wait. Yeah. <laughs> Rayman may not have limbs, but at least he has thumbs. This the art... Without those gloves, would those fingers be detached as well? You think? <laughs> Oh man! Maybe. You're killing me, Smalls. Just on patrol. Terrifies the shit out of me. It's a creepy looking cloud. I remember I remember thinking of that cloud in the same vein as the cloud from Mario 64. Oh. It only really appeared that one time. And it just kinda came out of nowhere. That uh You know what that cloud reminds me of? What? It reminds me of uh that meteorite from uh Star Fox 64. I, I, I never played or watched Star Fox. Not 64, sorry. SNES. Yeah. There was a meteor with a face, right? And when the first time I found it, I accidentally ran into it. And that's how I triggered the black hole section. I was fucking creeped out. Oh, I gotta call him in. Black Bomber, help me! Even that sounds like a terrorist name. Black the Black Bomber. The Black Bomber. He just dresses in like black, like bull fur, and yeah. like wears a, and just wears a ski mask or something. I'm on to you this time. Spikes. Oh, so there's there's this backyard wrestler, right? And yeah. he wore like all black with like gloves and stuff. He wore like black ski mask, and and his uh, wrestler name was uh, Rob Banks. Okay, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> He's for he he probably knew what his uh, his stick was, so he worth. I'm fine. We're good. Oh, so many pits on you're this level. Pla you're platforming because I know how the game like how the physics of the game are. So now, gosh. I was trying to bait the thwomp out. What is that? I don't like that noise. Uh, there's something down there. There's the path going down there. Is it some kind of bo- oh, it bothers you. What are you? You're gonna that is what you are. You're gonna shoot at me. Yeah, you are. I'm just- Height. Ah! Jeez, dude, don't scare me like that!
got it. <laughs> Endol. These are the Peace Mountains. Bomberman, is that you? How did you get here? I'm here to you. rescue you! Oh. Hello. Hello, little man! I am Endol! Rocking those gold teeth. <laughs> You came here to rescue the princess? Back in my day, it was always about rescuing a princess. Those were the only games we had. James Bond I rescued a princess. I can't tell who's talking. Alright, away you go. Darth Vader? Your princess is in another... <laughs> Look like the hero from Quest 64. Yeah. By the way, I've never played that game. I wonder how that is. Neither it's have like I. It's the only uh, N64 RPG besides Paper Mario. Yeah. By the way, uh, Paper Mario, apparently it's got like a hard type ROM hack. Maybe you should check it out. Oh, yeah? Not like extremely hard, just like Master Quest level. Oh, you gotta beat him. Did I do it? Ah, eh, shut up. It's just, a, it's a catfish in a mech suit. Yeah, literally that. Yeah, it's just... <laughs> Misestimated when it would turn around. This kind of sounds like, uh, oh, you, you never played Conker's Bad Fur Day. I have, I played, like, one stream of it, but... This that... sounds similar to, uh, there's a portion of the game that's a Matrix parody that has music that's a lot like this. Uh. God. Wait, is he, like, firing guns and shit? Yes. Oh, man. Conker goes balls deep into the movie parodies after a time. I, I think it's 7,000. Seven thousand five hundred. At least I took all his cash. <laughs> Is he fucking Kazuchiko? What? What the fuck? Well, darn! I lost her. The princess is nearby. I can feel it. You always say that, R two. She's on Primus Star. Oh, okay. Wait, were you flying the bomber jet? I thought it was Black Bomber doing that. Oh, was he disguised? You steal bomber hardware? It's okay, I'll tolerate it. Maybe Black now. Bomber maybe Black Bomber dropped it off with us without a word, just left it to Piebot. Well, now I gotta walk back. So yeah, in, in Mercenaries 2 you get a helicopter pilot, you can totally deliver helicopters for you. And afterwards you can tell it's like, well, I'm gonna go I'm gonna catch a ride back later, boss. Yeah. Silver. Yeah, because because you couldn't beat the other guy in, in time. Bonus stage. You get one per world. And I don't really know why. There's not really any point to these. You get I more guess, gems. Yeah, you get gems, you get lives. You get power-ups. Primus music yet. <laughs> We've got to beat the catfish. Endol. Endol be all. No, that's his brother. What? He's, I gotta hit his chest. His crown protects him. His chest? I guess. Or his head? I don't know. Which part of you blows up, motherfucker? Woo! <laughs> 
Oh, yeah. Good old close range explosives. It's not like we don't have infinite lives. We don't. Basi we basically do. Are you gonna get rid of all your bomb power ups? We don't need them on this guy. You wanna try? You take a crack if you like. I won't stop you. How did none of those hit? It just probably should have just died to get my health back. No, your health's back. Oh, good. I guess it resets once you start a uh, start over a new attempt. I guess it's his head. I don't know why this game makes me think of Jackie Chan Adventures. Maybe I was watching through it while I was playing this. Maybe. Yeah, it's kind of like because I'm just looking at this and I'm just thinking of uh, like. PS1 era stuff. Because despite the models being... Oh, he's immune while he's laughing. Yeah. What? Ah! I need 7,500. Uh oh. The game's over. I give up! And then he is the dead. <laughs> Palmer, so why does it just look like? Why does Donkey Kong Island look like Donkey Kong? I mean, you could somebody could have just carved it. Mario has a spaceship that looks like him. Not, not in Galaxy. I think it's in Galaxy too. Uh, I can't wait to see what the fuck the plot of that game is gonna be. Oh no, Bowser has learned to harness star technology. Now he's drunk on it. He's coming back to try it again. It tracks. Man, you gotta get these almost perfect shots. Yeah. Oh, that's not enough. Got there him. you go. Barely. All the money. Why green, you have money? The green. I don't know. It's my boss. I did it. I've got money. Oh, I kicked his ass. It'd be a waste not to rob him. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, I'm Bomberman. I'm the hero. I use bombs. Bomber hero gold. Primus. Prime. Come on down to Bomber. Meet some friends of mine. <laughs> Woods of Esuram. <laughs> Okay. SRAM. SRAM woods. Because it's computers. They're all robots. The princess is very close. You keep saying that, and it keeps proving to be wrong. She's inside Primus Castle. The, the guard, guard is tough. Does he, does he explode? Yes? Okay. We're good then. Find the underground tunnel that's connected. We gotta use the secret in entrance. Us, Bomberman! It's the only way. Will do! He's so cooperative. Yeah. Oh, can't go down here any further. This grass is impassable. It's a uh, tall grass! Oh, where'd you go? That was a good soccer ball pass. pass. Defeat oh. quick grooves by dropping bombs. Oh, okay. I don't know if I had any game and any N64 games with like the boxes and manuals. I always got just the cartridges. Yeah, the same here. Like. Because with the cartridge, you can just store it as is. Oh, it's a flower. Boxes were kind of more practical for seat for disc games. Yeah. 
more necessary. Killing everything. Oh, you evaded. Hey, come here. Doro! It's just... <laughs> Alright, fine. There are multiple ways to kill your opponents. Which is good in a video game. Yeah. Hey, you think, you think we should watch it to go films? Uh... Which one did you have in mind? Uh, Lion and the King. It, Lion and the King, I think, is what it was called. Yeah. So that's like a weird mix of Lion King and the King and I. No, it's just Lion King, except it's got nothing to do with Lion King. It just uses assets from Lion King. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I was thinking we should get a new. Uh, we should get a new screen for the watches. That's like tilted. Oh yeah. Because I saw. Who was it? The Djibouti Dubs apparently does watches and highlights of their watches, and, and they have a screen like that that I guess they get away with because it's it's tilted. It's just oh, I thought I had tried that at some point. It still didn't get through. I guess not. I guess it, it. I don't know. It might be worth trying. Maybe tilt it more. Yeah, we could try that. I don't think anybody cares. It's Dingo Films. Nobody gives a fuck about Dingo Phil. Yeah. Like I don't like. I think the company that makes their shit is, like, out of business. I remember this level being a bit stupid, cause... You're not gonna make it. Oh, there it is. I thought... Alternatively, you could just jump from the top. I didn't know the island was there, cause you can't see it from any of the shores. I remembered it was in the lake, I thought I misremembered it being closer to that side. Uh, yeah, this this uh, lack of a of a good of like a good camera is uh, kind of uh, kind of a problem for if you just to try to find stuff. It's just part of the game. It's just the angle the game takes place from. It's like Crash. Gervais is like a really avid anti-bullfighting activist. Anti-bullfighting? Yeah, because yeah, it's like cockfighting except with man and bull. So it's nothing like cockfighting. Well, not that I support bullfighting. It's yeah. just a, a very it? specific thing to be to be like an active activist of. Didn't, didn't bullfighters actually used to kill bulls? I don't know, probably. Like, because I, I remember that... Uh, that I thought that uh, that they just kind of danced around bulls for a little bit and everybody called it good. Yeah. But that doesn't prove how much of a man they are. But... You gotta kill the bull. No, you don't. These things would shoot spores at me, but I'd rather not let them. Hey. Ah, the spores. At least they scary dissipate. looking enemies in this game. Yeah, especially when they get really aggroed. Alright, and... You gotta wait for him to like open up. That's, yeah. That would drive me crazy. A rolling bomb. Cause it's got it's gotta activate both the things at once. Active. What the fuck? Cutscene. 
Is it turned into ice? Yeah, it's... it's and like, then it's a whole new level! So this stuff was all floating above the level. You probably saw. Oh, uh, yeah, I did. There's no way to get it unless you, like, froze the level. I guess it just, it just lowers once the level's frozen. Does all the other stuff stay where, they, where it is? Uh, it's now unobtainable once you freeze the level. Oh, okay. So if you miss anything before freezing it, you would have to start over again. Alright. Kill everything. There we go. One more enemy, probably. Oh. There's an enemy in... Oh, here. I see him. It's always in intervals of uh, 500, so... Oh. Six thousand. It seems like it. Oh, oh shoot. What? My hand spells like this part of them. Okay, uh, muscle twitches. twitches. Yeah. So you never, uh, you never transferred your phone over. I nah, I, I was gonna do it like uh, during my days off, but I just bubble never got around to it. What the fuck? What are we inside, and why are we inside it? It's the underground lake passage. This is like some R-type shit. Yeah? Okay. Big bubble hole. Oh, they can fusion. Does that remove the points? I don't think so. There now. Anything? What's up here? Oh, I, I guess that's how I was supposed to get up there. I wasn't supposed to just jump. But you could. I could. Every game needs slimes. Why? Because they're they're an enemy you can feel not guilty about killing. So this is like, uh, this is like club music from a low-budget hentai, right? Uh... This particular track? <laughs> it sounds like, it sounds like a, like you, somebody really wanted to make an HMV, but just didn't know any good songs. Yeah. So they just got a beat and said that was good enough. Yeah. Yeah, we just took this and we sent it to some tenement in Asagi and, and we called it and we call it a, a day. You like pits? This this sounds like something I'd hear on DOS. On a in a DOS game? Yeah, like this sounds like I could hear it. Like if Lands of War, Throne of Chaos had like uh, a section where you had to infiltrate an alien mothership. That was a fantasy game, by the way. What, what game was this? Okay, so there's this game, right? Uh, from uh, the DOS era with voice acting. It was called Lands of Lore. It was uh, a... Lands of Lore. Lands of Lore. Okay. What did you think I said? Uh, I thought you said Lan. Like Lan Hikari. Lan of Lore. Hello, my name is Land Land Darkweather. I'm here to <laughs> fight the. <laughs> Damn it! He didn't get any momentum. I'm just go straight for that at attic bomb so I can get that. That seems like the riskiest thing to go for. I'm gonna get it out of the way. So uh, 
So lands of lore? Yeah, it uh the first game was uh had a really uh, had a really nice art style actually. It was a 2D game, but it had uh like fake 3D. Uh, yeah, it, you'd have to see it, but um but the most notable part is that it had uh did you just die again. Yeah, I think there's probably a bubble warp up there. All right. Go on. So uh it had Patrick Stewart as the king. Okay. Which isn't the first... Which means that uh, Oblivion wasn't the first time he voiced, like, a, a political figure in a game. For, like, five seconds. He didn't have very many lines in Lands of Lore. Yeah. But I wonder why! Didn't have very mi many lines in Oblivion, did he? No, he died in, like, the first five minutes. And that's where the whole game's budget went. Yeah, that's why there's no good voice actors for the rest of it. So why was it at least better than Fable? Uh, the voice acting in Fable? Good I chicken chaser! <laughs> that was comically bad, though. Yeah. yeah. Make it, made it memorable. Uh, the, uh... No, Lands of Lore, uh, its voice acting was, uh, pretty decent throughout the board, I, I want to say. Get that diamond. Yeah. Did you get the bomb yet? No. Uh, no. I'm figuring there is a uh, bubble hole at the end of the level that goes to it. Fucking. It's the bell. That bell sounds midi as fuck. Yeah. I think the N64 did use midis, didn't it? Yeah, uh, the probably. bulk of its soundtracks probably explains why. Because I think Cause what, what generation uh, uh, was it that games finally started regularly using like uh, samples? Well, the main samples. I think one of the major differences between discs and uh, N64 or like cartridges was that the discs had a lot more space, right? Yeah. Like the the cartridges could read faster and uh, load more, but the discs could have more stuff on them. Yeah, so it was a uh, it was like yeah, it's like a solid state versus disc drive. You think it's like because it, SD cards load fast, right? Like for uh, like Nintendo DS and uh, I guess Switch now. Yeah. Loading times for those are uh, are pretty fast, as opposed to discs, which nowadays they install everything on the solid state hard drive. Yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. They figured out workarounds. Although there was something so ethereal about like it's loading, yeah. and then it was just silence for the loading screens. It was just it was they... like the serene piece in, before uh, you're about to get back in the action. Well, they copyrighted loading screen games. Did they really? Who I did? I don't know. I've, yeah. I've heard that said. But supposedly you can't copy... You can't copyright game mechanics. Yeah. It'd be like a guy copywriting, like, milk or something. Now this is bombing! <laughs> Fucking... So what am I missing? That kid, uh, kid, right? Just just accidentally flying like a fighter. And then he's like, there's people dying around him and he's... And just droids blowing up and then the first thing he could say... Not like, oh wow, this is... I, I, got, I better be careful or... Yeah, we should help these guys. He just first thing that pops into his mind. Now this is pod racing. Yeah. And and it's just like wow. No wonder he turns into Darth Vader. He's 
like seeing like a, a space bell like raging around him. He's like, cool. Yeah. He was desensitized. Oh, you're you're the last fella. I was treated as a slave. This is nothing. My sympathies died long ago. Hey, Annie! Annie! I want you to kill this guy for me! Uh, must die, master. Yeah, you do it! He owes me some money, yeah. He's not the paying back, you know. Yes, you, uh... You start with his pinky toe, and then you work your way up, and then maybe he pay you, maybe he don't. If he don't, you come talk to me, Annie. And bring the fingers. Oh, you missed something. I missed something somewhere. Shit, dude. Was it really that? You missed. You missed an enemy. It was that guy that fell down the hole. Okay. Oh god damn. So they're they are demanding perfect perfect on that one. I guess they didn't account for the enemy falling down the hole. Uh, 340. Ah. Uh, You're going in at 5, right? Yeah. So can you stop in this one, or...? You can. You can stop in reverse if you need to. Okay. He just kind of waves his hands back. Hey, honey! While you're out doing your Jedi business, how about you, uh, send some customers my way, eh? Eh? What was that guy's name? Uh, fucking... Oh, shit, what was his name? Uh, Watto, I think his that name was. That was it. They owned slaves on Tatooine. Were they weren't really, like... Slave slaves. It just seems like that uh, they were just like indentured servants at worst. Well, I mean, they were like workers, which yeah. slaves tended to be yeah, in real they, life. They seemed to own property, though. They had a house they lived in. Oh, did they? Yeah. They. It wasn't like Watto was coming home to their house like, hey, I was. I was just at the shop. Can you give him some table scraps. They. He was able to build a pod racer. Yeah. I think I think slaves were a bit okay. The droids are slaves. Yeah. The, they were just they were they just owed money and they just couldn't leave town. Let's say he was an overworked victim of child labor. Yeah. It's still it's still shitty. It's just it's just. I'm not saying that that's the kind of ideal society I want everybody to live in, it's just... Maybe they didn't have schools on Tatooine? <laughs> I, Maybe I it was either that or he just sits around all day doing nothing. He was working at the shop, right? Yeah. Water? It's like, I, I could teach you how to do mechanics, but you and your family have to go into debt for the next three generations. Oh no, don't touch the deadly starfish. Very deadly to robots. Oh, they look, they look like uh, fucking star use almost. Can't shoot them, huh? Uh, no. They are bomb immune. Uh, uh oh. Oh, he'll, he'll wait. Come on. Oh, no, I gotta back up. Gotta back. There you go. Oh, he's pushing. I heard. I heard Master Yoda talk about Metachlorians. What are Metachlorians? It's heroin! Don't worry about it, Annie. You gotta stay off that stuff. Work at the junkyard. <laughs> Metachlorians is what Jedi's take uh, in order to, like, just boost their connection with the Force. It's a bad sheet. You get hooked, Annie. Apparently there was, like, a drug. Like, they ta everybody talks about, like, Kessel Spice. Apparently it's, like, a drug that gives you, like, uh, telepathy or something, but it's highly addictive. In Star Wars or in real yeah, life? Yeah, it's Star Wars. Okay. Not in real life! Well, I don't know. People might say that. Doesn't mean it's true. <laughs> it's 
just called spice. Do you do you spice? So uh, <laughs> Oh, I remember this level. What happened? So this isn't the end of it. Oh no, which which ass do you have to choose to climb in? Uh I don't, what do you pick? You have no idea. Either. I have no idea. Uh, bottom left. Let's see what's behind asshole number two. Seems like it was the wrong choice. Work this back a little bit. That's not too far. Let's guess again. Uh, top left. I guess it's not too much of a problem if you finish the level. If you, like, clear the enemies and such. But... And you're out here is 500, right? We're missing so. There's, uh, there's more level. Okay. So is that the right one? Oh, We're in a new area. What? Is that a Game Boy? You'll need a wall-through item. A bomb? You're homing on the wrong shit, bombs. Get the evil mana rays that aren't doing anything. This music. They're only really any threat if you run into these guys. Yeah. He just... By the way, Bomberman putting his arms out in the traditional, uh, ninja running pose. Yeah. Well, he's underwater. What else is he gonna do with them? Paddle? <laughs> yeah. Hey, you got, uh... I got my wall through. Oh, you got... You have the ability to phase through walls now. Certain walls. So... Ah. Turn around, Bomberman. Who do we choose to have fight on a spaceship? Oh, clearly Bomberman. Don't you think that could be a bad idea if he gets in contact with the hole, sir? <laughs> ah, nonsense. We need to destroy the ship. He just, like, blows up key sections of the ship and gets the fuck out of there. They send him outside the ship to fight in space. The bombs don't work. Bomberman, we need you to go and destroy the Death Star. Just... I mean, that is the plot of this game. Yeah, this is why we're talking about Star Wars, because this game is Star Wars. Ah. Uh, eh. I miss something, or I get, like, too many things? No, uh, you, you miss something. Well, I hope you don't need a, a like a certain path to get a perfect score. It's seventy-five. I think you're you're fine. Just just go. Maybe it's seventy-five. Maybe it's less. It'd be nice if it was less. Maybe it's seventy. Maybe it's uh sixty. It's probably sixty. 65. If there are branching paths, it would have to give you the one that, uh, like, has the least amount of points on it, I would hope. Maybe. Got some Minecraft coal above our heads. Set that shit up. Could you set just coal on the ground on fire? Oh, yeah, good. I see. Oh, no. So I guess we're leaving Bubble Hole till later. We need to go back. Well, I mean... We'll go back at some point, yeah. This level seems to be a bit, uh, unpleasant. It's not my favorite. What an unpleasant level. Remember when we were watching GT and that shit with that was involving, uh, the ambiguity of the situation involving Yiru. 
Yeah. That you was. Uh... Is he a traitor? Oh no, he betrayed us. Oh. <laughs> Every time Pan caught up to him, I was just... oh, nope. No, go away, Pan. I have nothing more to say to you. <laughs> Pan, you you remember the good times we had? I'm I'm alive, Pan. <laughs> hey, I was about to kick this cute little robot's ass. Yeah. <laughs> she would have won, too. Obviously. She's half Saiyan. Quarter Saiyan. Oh, man, what if you actually did betray her? That was the, that was the cause for her to go Super Saiyan. I wonder if there are any spin-off games, at least, where Pan has a Super Saiyan form. That'd be nice. Uh... I saw fan art. Of, uh, that's pretty much the only. Well, they like to add forms for the for the games. Yeah. Remember, Super Saiyan Three Broly. Super Saiyan Four. Su Super Saiyan God Broly. Oh God. It's literally. Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Broly. I like, I like new Broly though. It's like. <laughs> Yeah. I know that... Well, his character... Uh, the more I think about it, the more I'm like, well, his his character was that he was just a brutish Hulk in uh, in his first appearance. But, except he was, uh, like, you know, like, more amoral. Yeah. When he was, like... He only was calm, I guess. He just... But he was just, like, uh, otherwise, just, like, a generic, like... Well, forced to be reckoned with, yeah. yeah. Then they they actually made him more like a. They played up his uh, savagery, and then in the new Broly film, and it worked out pretty well, honestly. I want to know what the what the three hour what a three hour film like edited and cut version of uh, that Broly movie would have been like. It probably would have been the most epic thing I ever would have seen. Yeah. Just. Oh, did you uh did you see the things I showed you in Discord? Uh, you're talking about YouTube. The uh, no. JoJo. Yeah, I saw that. I haven't watched it. I was like, I, I was meaning to do it last, like when I uh, got home, but I, I. Someone made a Disney song parodies. Of, uh, of JoJo characters singing them. They're pretty good. They're pretty high effort. Yo, I'm checking them and out. they go on to, like, up to the current arcs. And I, I didn't watch any of those ones. But I did see that one of the villain songs is Hellfire. So I guess we're getting a priest JoJo villain at some point. Oh, yeah, I think I know which one that is, too. I think Luchi that's, uh, or Luchi or something. That's, uh, the Stone Ocean one. Yeah, sounds right. I don't know what the deal is with the priest guy at all, so... That's something to look forward to, though. Yeah. Priest. <laughs> Wasn't there a dude whose uh, uh, pseudonym for uh, voice acting was uh, William Hellfire? That was one of the one of the people. Yeah, and a hentai it. credits. Yep, you got it. William Hellfire and Dick Buttkiss. <laughs> so, William Hellfire... <laughs> But, uh, where the fuck isn't an alias? As far as we know, no. Oh, that's sharks. You gotta fight the sharks. Oh no, I can't, like, I can't drop bombs, I get swept away. What the f- it's the sewers. Sewer level. Ding! With no music. The sewers suck too much for music. It's just, it's just waterfalls. Well, I got the shark. You got him. You got armor? That's nice. I got explosions. Gotta be fart crabs everywhere. Come on. <laughs> I didn't do the sound design. <laughs> it's just, you know what? I'm glad that people aren't using like that as much because then when somebody says it, 
It, it has more impact, if that makes any sense. Yeah. As opposed to it just being annoying, so... Here's this guy, right, who is, like, uh... <laughs> who was watching... It was, a uh, Retsu Prey, and they were watching, uh... A person played through a game called uh, Ernest Evans. Yeah. It was like Japanese Indiana Jones, uh, but as like a Genesis game. And, he, and then the person said about like the sound design of the game, like, like oh, it sounds like diarrhea farts. Yeah. <laughs> it just caught me off guard. It's just, what? Oh shit, you're right. That's a... Air maneuverability. I mean, Conker doesn't even make any make any qualms about it. They just straight up use farts for the music. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Any health around? Is there any health or music in the vicinity? Just... Hey, cool. You're safe in the water. Guys, this place is just trapped like fucking crazy. Even these little guys are gonna kill me if I touch them, I'm sure. Hello! Uh, 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 think fast! I, I must have missed something. I hesitated for a but a moment. You hesitated. There can be no hesitation. You must... You must get it. Oh, you forgot about the fish! So, uh, so there was this guy, right? Uh, from like way back in the day called uh, Terrar and uh, he was uh, he had the mocker of the human stomach and uh, yeah. and the reason why is because no matter how much he ate he would, he, would, he would never be satisfied and also he he still had like uh, he had like like uh just, he, he, he had a high metabolism or something, and he would just always be thin no matter how much he ate. Yeah. He had apparently, like, like a enlarged mouth, and then when they finally dissected him, they looked at his down his throat, they were able to see directly in his stomach. That's how big his throat was. Yeah. And, uh... And he wasn't actually just bulimic or anything? No, they, so they, then they, they cut him open, right? And they looked inside of him, and they found out that, like, his stomach was, like, huge. It, like, was, like, almost all of his lower abdomen. Yeah. And I'm like, Jesus Christ. And I... Because I thought at first he just had a really, really high metabolism, which, you know, it happens, but... I, yeah, I high metabolism doesn't let you fit a lot of food in there at once, though. Yeah, right? So... How big do you think Elvis' stomach was? Oh, uh, is there is this a is this a thing that's on record or I I don't know. Uh, wasn't Elvis fat though? He he was he got fat. fat later on in life. Yeah, I mean I'm talking about later in life because he had like a absurdly huge meals. Was he? Did he grow up poor or something? I don't know. Did he? I gotta look it up. Oh. Oh hey, got it. Good job. Should look up like an Elvis meal late in life. I'm out. My phone's almost out of power. I need to recharge it. Oh, there was another way. Up. So Wait, there, there, you... yeah, there's a different exit in the lake that leads to a different level. All right, top. We were top, missing one. Top right then. No time for you guys. Just gun it. What are what even are those things? What those? those rock gem creatures? Uh, I don't know. They're like 
living geodes. So you can just skip, if you just skip entire levels, then this game could be speedrun. Oh yeah, it's, at it's like 80% at like really... It's collecting and killing that takes up the time. Yeah. Imagine there's a big... I don't think there's a big time difference between levels, like between... Like 80% and 100%? Yeah. Alright, oh, well, bottom, okay. Bottom right. Let's try this asshole. Hey, you made it. You're here now. Just keep going. I'm not here, sharks. Nice, leisurely swim. Oh! What are those? Tentacles? Crystals? Oh, I wonder what the speed tech for this game could be. If there's like a glitch people can abuse to like let them go faster. I don't know. I'm not done with you! I'm not finished with you! Into the MS Paint inverse color hole. Oh no! So it's the water slider. Water slider. It is four o'clock. We might be able to squeeze this level in. I don't think this is a long one, and then we'll call it. Okay. Uh, we. Uh oh. Those things again. Ow. Ah. We're just in a castle again. Wasn't he trying to escape in the- oh gosh. In like the uh, other games, the other Bomberman games. Oh, I don't know. What are... Okay. Is he trying to escape from something like Bomberman 64? Underground. Like during the old school Bomberman games. I, d I didn't know those had a plot. I don't know. So easy to fall off here. We got it. Also, I think there was ground underneath. Oh no, half over there. All right then. This bender missile asshole. Oh, that glove. They just, they just deem it unnecessary to have music in the water levels. Yeah, because it's just... The water got, is the music. We got the music already. It's the fucking waterfall. Be Isn't grateful. It serene? Alright, what am I missing? Uh... Maybe it's like 4,000 because they thought you'd miss some stuff down the slide. Maybe. Can you climb up the slide? You can, kind of. We. I don't think so. I think it's. Uh... We're almost back at the top by now. Yeah, this was the top. Yeah, oh, okay, I guess. That 
That is such a sketchy jump. Yeah. Sneaking in the undergrounds. Da 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 da. -da. The sneaking after a bunch of explosions. Can you here? hear something? <laughs> <laughs> Is the castle shaking? <laughs> no, it's just your imagination. I did it! Well, I was sitting on the toilet and then just like the the, the water kind of pshhed under me. Should I be worried? <laughs> oh god, the whole toilet felt like it was shoved up my ass. Ah. Okay, so next time we, we go to Primus Let's Castle. fight Nitrous again! That's right, Nitrous Isn't that is, gonna be fun? Nitrous is the mid-boss in every world. Yeah, it better be. We gotta... I'm glad we actually get to fight him more than, like, uh, other people who act like our rivals. Yeah. Alright, well, that, that's a fun game, actually. Yeah. It's, uh, it's pretty... It seems like it's getting harder. Uh, I don't... Really care for the jumping physics. Yeah. But you don't care for the Banjo Kazooie jumping physics, so I guess that makes us even. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll uh, I'll, we'll see you tomorrow. Oh, maybe. Uh, when are you going tomorrow? Uh, six. All right. Yeah, we'll do something. Oh, also, I do have a three-day weekend next week, so we get to we'll get to stream more. Oh, cool. All right. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. See ya.